going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Raid Shadow Legends. Thank you for joining me, guys. We have a two times double chance Void Shard event. Now is the time. We've been hoarding your Void Shards to open them up today. Really, really quick, my wish list for today's video. We would love a Venus. Sir Nick, why not? Join the join the party. Uh, we want a, a really want a Warlord and an Anger. I really like him as well. We also want, of course, Krisk the Ageless. Krisk, one of the best champions inside the entire game and last but not least who else do we want here there was one other who i not not undead why can't i think oh no 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 why, why i can't wait oh, 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 oh gurgo gurgo the auger okay now we know who you want that's our wish list let's go ahead and call our shots let's open up all those legendaries in one video <laughs> hope you guys are having a good uh week uh, or weekend almost here. Uh, let's see who we pulled today. Interceptor. We're only going to look at... Uh, we're not going to look at all these champions. We're not going to make this a super long video. Because uh, Seducer is a solid, uh, solid rare champion. Solid. Let's go to the next one here. We got... Mm, Abalaster. It is finally warming up here. It's actually really warming up. Almost 90 degrees here where I live. Uh, today on the East Coast, United States, and uh, man, took my son to the beach, and we had such a good time. Uh, already having just a great kind of early start to my weekend this Friday morning. Uh, Golden Reaper is actually solid, solid. Has an increased speed buff on all allies for two turns, and boosts their turn meter by 20% on a three turn. The Alacrity ability is, is a pretty solid ability. The rest of the kit is kind of just kind of meh, I guess. Well, decrease turn meter by each target if, they are un if they're not under decreased attack. I guess it's not bad. You could build out Golden Reaper to have a very low accuracy and then always decrease turn meter instead of the decrease attack, which I think in some situations might be better on an AoE. Uh, let's go on to the next one here. I do find that that's kind of an interesting strategy for a lot of champions. You see a lot of people in Platinum Arena doing that with Trunda, right? Where uh, they essentially build her out with very low ac I do myself as well. Very low accuracy, so she's not landing uh, the HP burn and she is instead uh, doing two hits, which is great against the, you know, the Rotos meta right now. So another epic here we have, hey, it's an Umbral Enchantress. She is a, a really good uh, Void epic. Uh, to, has the Unkillable and the Provoke on the A3, the ability Undying Evil, the ability that she's known for. She's still a little niche. You don't see her a ton, but she's solid. It's because she's only, she's good, but she's not like OP in, in uh, dungeons or in clan boss but she is really good in the arena. So there's Skirmisher, especially in Tag Team Arena. If you guys have an Umbral Enchantress, definitely uh, consider putting her in. Uh, I run Basher in Tag Team Arena, arena another uh, Void uh, Epic Champion, but I feel, feel like you could almost slot in Umbral Enchantress and uh, have the same kind of utility, basically negating the other team's ability to take a turn or, or do abilities other than their A1. Painkeeper, an amazing rare champion. I did a guide on her a couple weeks ago. Really, really love her as a champ. Uh, next up, we have uh, Stone Skin. He's kind of whatever. Next up, we have... For those of you who missed it, my last shard opening video was actually uh, Void Shards on a 10 times uh, opening event. I got so lucky in that video, man. I feel like my luck's going to come back to haunt me in today's video, right? So here we go. Going to be another uh, Bulwark. Really solid uh, clan boss champion, especially. Now we have... I, I, I feel... I feel a uh, Bloodhorn. I feel a Legendary in the next three clicks here, right? Maybe, maybe not, not this one. No? <laughs> this is so stupid, man. Painsmith, m maybe not this one, but definitely the one after this. De another skirmisher. Uh, skirmisher looks like a lovely lady. I'd like to take her out for a, a drink, you know? Just chill. Looks like she has a lot to say. Uh, okay. I was wrong about the, uh, <laughs> I was wrong about the legendary. It's gonna be one of these next ones. I feel like I'm getting, I'm getting very close to it here. All right, we have uh, this dude, Hollow. Okay. Let me know, guys, by the way. Uh, wishing you good luck, you know, even if I don't have it in this video. Uh, let me know if you pull any solid champions from Void Shards. I know a few guys in my clan uh, got lucky with some really solid champions. So good luck to you guys, if you, if you, you, whether you're opening one or a hundred uh, Void Shards. Wishing you guys the best of luck. Let me know in the comments who you pull, if anybody. We have a new fusion coming up in the game. We have, it looks like a couple new champions coming in the game. Fellhound, really, really good uh, real god tier, I guess, uh, campaign farmer in the game. Uh, so here we go. We have uh, Paidma. She's really solid. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the A3. 
One champion removes all buffs from the target and places them on this champion. So a buff stealer on a three turn cooldown. Tax all enemies has a decreased accuracy based on defense uh, and then attack. And then one enemy has a uh, decreased attack buff on all enemies for two turns. Okay, not bad to have a an AoE decreased attack on the A1. Next up is going to be... Hey, it's our old friend Bellower. Solid champ. Even if you can pull the pull a cold heart in uh, in this Lua, the one of the best non-legendary freeze champions in the game. Uh, attacks all enemies three times. Each critical hit heals this champion by 2.5%. Not freeze, my bad on that. I was thinking of Luria. Luria, not Lua. But she does have a three hitter, which I really like on the A2. And then on the A3, decreases the target's turn meter by 100% and ignores shield and block damage buffs on a four turn. Solid, right? It's kind of like a mini Cold Heart, which is ironic because Cold Heart is a, uh, a, a rare champion. So here is Ox. And we're getting close to capacity here. Might have to make some room in just one second here, guys. Almost here. And another rare. Okay. Hera Specs, really, really good. Hera Specs are definitely a good uh, speed champion has a speed aura and here we go 30 shards left guys i'm still feeling good for some reason i'm feeling optimistic i'm sending out those positive vibes right and i think okay we're at full be right back all right the perfect amount of space left here guys let's finish off with these 29 shards let's pull two legendaries out of these next 28 let's pull two <laughs> some people ask for one i ask for two let's be super greedy here all right, so here we go. And another rare. We'll take another Bellower, I guess. Add him to the vault. Actually not. We're actually running out of space here. Too many shard opening videos. Let's go to Huntress. No thank you. 25 left. 25 left. Here we go. I wish you could do it <laughs> five at a time. Because when I kind of manage is really solid. Obviously has the unkillable and block debuffs. Uh, as is A3 and Ancient Blood. If you have two man eaters, if you're lucky enough, you can make an amazing unkillable composition for ultra nightmare or nightmare clan boss uh daywalker 23 left 23 left yeah i feel like i tilt on these shard openings granted you're getting a lot of solid uh uh epic champions but i could tilt a little bit right and then in those circumstances i would just go 10 at a time that's that's the, <laughs> that's the type of restraint and self-control i have uh ladies and gentlemen here we go with a rare another retainer no thank you we got 20 left here 20 left. All right. Harrier. Nope. And give me that gold, please. Nope. Okay. Steadfast Marshall. Let's give a... Okay. Looking for that yellow. Looking for that beautiful yellowy orange. Vanguard. And okay. Dude, I feel like a fool for doing my wish list. Like, these are all the legendaries that I want. Sit back and enjoy as I pull a bunch of rares. All right, another Harrier. 15 left. It's still plenty of time. Plenty of time. Plenty of room to get a couple legendaries. Lua, this time you're not a freezer. I apologize. You are just a triple hitter. No freeze in your kit. All right, next up. Do any of you guys use Lua? Let me know if you do. Bulwark. Again, Bulwark, uh, good because he has the weaken on the A1, damage based on defense, and then has the HP burn on the A2. When attacked, has a 30% chance of extending the duration of all debuffs on the attacker by one turn. So the debuff extender in Bulwark, again, makes him really, really solid. Niche, but very solid against Clan Boss. So here we go, Doom Screech. 12 to go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. We have a rare here. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man, I was due to be unlucky, though. I was due. I get so lucky in my shard opening videos lately. In the beginning of this channel, awful luck. Awful luck. I did so many, so many shard openings that I didn't even upload. As a matter of fact, if I don't pull... I might not upload this one. I don't know. It's not that exciting to be like, oh, check out the rares. Count along with me. All right, Cardinal is really solid because of the A3. Revives all dead allies. Heals them by 25% of their max HP and boosts their turn meter to max. Five turn cooldown, redemption, definitely the, the best revive in the game uh, for Arena, certainly. Uh, Paragon. And let's see, okay, okay. Raglan, pretty solid too. It's hard to compare anybody to Raglan, but I guess Cardinal would be it for Arena again. Okay, another epic here. We have another exemplar. 
I think we pulled another exemplar out of this video, did we not? Five left, guys. I, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna realign my expectations. Only want one legendary. That's it. That's it, Plarium. Go ahead. This shard's fine. Just get it over with right now, <laughs> okay? Nope, nope, nope. Sis Beast. Okay, we're cool. We got three left. We're looking good here. And this one is not that legendary we're looking for. I can't believe that Plarium's gonna make it my last shard. They're gonna make it my last shard. It's not this one. All right, let's see who our legendary is. Here we go. All right, who is it? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, Doom Screech. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. No great luck this time. The luck streak comes to an end, but I hope that I can take my bad luck, transfer it, uh, it, no, not transfer. Keep all the bad luck and save the good luck for you guys. That's what I'm looking to do in today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, take care, guys.